Good afternoon, Con here with TechOut. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Anchor lineup. This is the Anchor Prime lineup with one of their new power banks and their charging base right here, which is very cool. I'm really excited about this. Um, if you guys don't know, I have the Anchor 737 Power Core, which is kind of similar to this power bank right here in the terms of the, the information screen and all that kind of stuff, the smart display. Um, so this kind of improves on that. Screen's laid out a little bit better in my opinion, and it's got some added features and benefits. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Um, I want to thank um, John Rettinger over on YouTube. If you guys don't know him, uh, go check out his channel. I'll leave a link down below. He did a giveaway when he was uh, reviewing these products and um, I won the giveaway. I didn't even know there was a giveaway going on. I just left a comment on the channel about the six in one um, power strip that I bought from Anchor. And I was chosen as the winner and I, um, I won that. So uh, that was the reason I was able to purchase these. Um, you know, I spent a little bit of the um, giveaway winnings, if you will, on the Anchor products um, that I wanted. So here we are. Um, I will also be picking up the larger one of these uh, later on, um, the one that has the app and everything. It just doesn't ship until like September right now. Um, so I haven't gotten that one yet. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with the power bank real quick. And then we will ch uh, check out the charging base. The charging base does not work with the power core ones. So you have to have one of the new prime ones. Uh, there's three different prime ones. Um, I believe this um, this one is the medium one right here. I know that for sure. I don't remember what the size of the other one was. Um, I want to say um, I'm not even going to guess, but this is the 20,000 uh, milliamp hour um, one right here, and then the other one is 27, the larger one. Um, so it's up to 200 watts. Um, so you can do 100 watts on each port at the same time, which is very nice. And then it's 100 watt charging. I have seen some reviews on this where the 100 watt charging is kind of put into question. Um, it doesn't uh, sustain the 100 watt charging, which it does tell you that on the website that to you know protect the battery and maintain the, the battery health, that it's not going to charge at 100 watts, you know, zero to 100. It's kind of got that uh, sweet spot where it will charge um, at that full rate. Um, so also in the box here, we do have this nice little carrying bag right there. So there's that one and then I guess we can just take this whole thing out. There should be a uh, USB cable in here as well. Yep, there is a USB cable tucked down in here as well. Um, so just a USB C to C. Recommend using the one that's included if you want to charge at the full speed. And then we just have your instructions and stuff like that in there as well. Um, but the C to C they include does support that 100 watt, char 100 watt charging. I know my um, my power core 24,000 uh, milliamp hour um, will charge at 140 watts with its included cable. So just make sure you're using one of those supported cables um, when you do that to get that full speed. So let's see, we're gonna take this out of the bag here. Um, so I was looking at this online and it looks like they have improved the screen. So we'll go ahead and power it on here. I can tell you right now the text is definitely a little bit bigger on this screen. Um, so it's at 16% out of the box. They usually don't ship these full. Um, so battery information, it shows us the battery health, the battery cycles, and the battery temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then if we go to the next screen, we can change the screen timeout, which is very nice. That's a feature I was hoping for um, on my 737. The 737 is just on or off for the auto um, timeout, but this one you can do 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, or 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to, actually we're gonna change this real quick. So you can change the screen brightness right here. It is on high. Um, so I don't know if it's hard to see for you guys the way the camera picks it up, um, but you just press and hold if you wanna change a menu item. So we're gonna go back here to the screen timeout real quick and bring up the selection. I'm just going to change it to five minutes because I don't need it turning off all the time. All right, so then you're back to your percentage there. Now, if this was plugged into something, you would be able to see uh, your time remaining and how much each port is either putting in or, or drawing from the battery. Um, both the USB-C ports are IQ ports and they're both in and out ports. So you can plug into either one of them to charge. Uh, we have a USB-A out right here. Again, uh, Power IQ technology, nice uh, design. It's like a silverish kind of almost gray um, brushed design with some texture on the side. And then on the bottom right here, we have your contacts for the charging base. 
So you can just set that on the charging base and it will charge up. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the charging base next. And I was really excited to get this because I can just keep the battery on there, plop it on there. I don't have to fumble for a cable or anything like that. I'm gonna leave this one on my, um, on my nightstand. Uh, I have an anchor, I don't even know what it is. It's uh, two USB C's and uh, two USB A hub. Um, that I've been charging with for years and it's been great, but I think I'm gonna retire it slash move it to uh, another location and repurpose it um, So this is going to be the new kind of hub for that um, And the fact that the battery is not taking up a port is very nice now this hub is a 100 watt um, hub and that is shared between ports um, This one I don't if you plug in, you can plug in two devices and they'll both be 100 watts. Um, they don't tell you what it's split between if you use the USB-A. Um, they just say if you want 100 watt outs on both ports, they recommend not using the USB-A while you're uh, while you're trying to achieve that. So I'm, I'm sure on their website somewhere they do specify um, you know the shared charging, but that's what they do for their other, other products, but that's just what I saw on that one. Um, so this one doesn't have a screen or anything on it, um, no information or anything like that. Um, but you do get a little, I think there's a light, a power light up here or something like that when it's plugged in. Uh, so you've got two USB-C's and a USB-A. Again, this is 100 watts total. So if you're charging the battery, um, you can do that. Or if you're using the USB-C's, it's going to split that up. Um, there is a high powered port right here for like laptops and stuff like that. So you're gonna get the most power out of this in port. Nice feet on the bottom. So it's got a good amount of weight to it too, so you're not gonna be sliding everywhere trying to uh, pick your battery up and stuff like that. Go ahead and see what else we have in the box here. Um, just got the, the regular AC power cable there for the wall. And um, looks like yeah, so there's like a little adhesive pad in here as well, so you can attach it to a table if you want to. Um, it looks like there are uh, two of those included, so you can you can put that on the bottom somewhere. I guess if you have issues with it sliding around, you can fix it to the table with these pads right there. I don't think I'll need that. It feels like it's gonna be stable enough to um, stay on its own, but there is the uh, battery on there. It looks like it woke it up when I put it on there. Um, Actually, I might need to use the tape. The battery does lift the, uh, if you pull straight up, it'll lift it up. But if you go at an angle, it's fine. So there we go. That's what it looks like. Again, there are three different batteries that support this charging base in three different sizes. Um, the larger one being the 27,000 and some change milliamp hours. And then this one right here. So I'm going to try this thing out for a little while. And probably in a, like a week or two, I will do a video comparing this one to my um, power core. 737 which is kind of like the predecessor to this um, right here and this is the newer new and improved version if you will in my opinion I think it's a little bit better with this charging base and uh, the power output um, and the new screen and stuff like that so we'll check that out uh, in a couple weeks and I'll do like a little review let you guys know how it's been let you know how the charging speeds are all that kind of stuff so that is the anchor prime or part of the anchor prime lineup I do have the six in one prime that also has the same screen on it, which is a plug-in like power strip. It's got USB-C, USB-A, and two outlets on it, um, but it's got the same type of smart display. So I will check that out as well on a video. Um, I've already opened it, it's already unboxed and everything like that, but I will do a little review of that later on as well. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to check out the Amazon uh, links in the description where you can pick these things up. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day.